Impressed. Oh my goodness. Look how organised I am. Look how organised he is. You know that proper cringy saying, new year, new me? Yeah. Is that what it's all about? I'm applying it to my fishing. Do you know how bad this smelt when I opened it last I know time? how bad it smelt. <laughs> but I cleaned it. It still smells a bit, but I didn't... Well, it's going to be hard to get that mould off, like. <laughs> and then, um, obviously, little Christmas prezzy from the wife. Nice. That is the reason that is so tidy. I like it. No. He messaged me last night anyway and he, he sent me a voice note saying, Foxy, you know I was using that Harry Bow thing. Well, I've cleaned it all out and I've done this and I've done that and I've organised everything and I just messaged back saying, Congratulations, welcome to my world. I was like, it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, organisation. Does looks is good. A, organization is the key. Do you have a little look at this bad boy yeah, go on, here? Go on. So I mean, it probably could be a bit more packed out, but... We'll have a proper look at it later when we do print my bivvy, by the way. Yeah, so obviously I had my, my Nash rig pouch. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, as you said, the Harry Bow Tupperware box that I took to France last year started becoming my tackle box. Yeah. So yeah, cleaned those two out, whacked them into here. So... Nice. Nice. So we've just got loads of rigs. Loads of ready-made rigs. Nobby. Um <laughs> Yeah, I'm lazy, lazy aren't I? But <laughs> they work, man. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, got me old bank tackle stuff in there. Listen, never forget where you come from, right? Bank tackle is where we started. It is. I've still um, got mine. Still comes in handy all the time. Yeah, I mean, I need to fill these out a little bit more. I've got a few little things in there. Um, where did I put my hooks in that? Oh, yeah. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. All my hooks. Isn't that? Nice? It's nice. Got my hooks, got my. Um, my um, like my hook link, scissors and that, and you know, um, needles, stuff. Needles. Yeah. Right, should we get fishing? Let's do it. Because like, we're just, we've got, they're not in, we haven't set up, we're just a bit all over the place, so let's get fishing. Let's get the rods out and have a brew. And then we'll do an intro and stuff. Yeah. Sweet. All set up on my river. I'm just about, yeah, not bad. Yeah, got three rods in. Um, initial setup, anyway. I might uh, play about, with them. play about, and uh, play about with the rigs and play about with the uh, the bait. 
and maybe do some solid bags or some pellet in um, in some of the uh, PVA mesh as well. I'll try that as well. Yeah. I'm just boily crumb at the moment. Yeah. Nice. Welcome to Fresh Fishing. I'm Wayne and I'm Foxy. And today we are at the lovely Raker Lakes. In particular, Kingfisher Lake. What does this bad boy hold? It's got carp up to 30. I think there's 30s in here. I don't know how many, but <coughs> reading online about it and stuff, I think there's quite a few 20s in here. Yeah, first like stopped that. in 2000 with 220 carp. Right. But it's a nice looking lake. Like first impressions when it's you- It's about 250 present. 250. Right. When you first uh, turn up and look at the lake, it it gives you it gives you the feels, doesn't it? It does. It looks it good. Does. Apparently, like, just reading there, sorry, there's 50 to 70 between 20. Oh, that's decent. Any 30s? I, I think it says there might be a few, so. Okay, you never the odd, know. The odd one. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, like, we, when we turned up, just kind of like, you know, the first glance at the lake, it was exciting. Like, loads of islands to fish up to, loads of features. Um, it looks very carpy. So carpy. Ultra carpy. It is, and, like, uh, in summer, I reckon it. Obviously, you, got, you don't have any leaves yeah. on the trees and that, but yeah, in summer, I could imagine it being quite proper proper car beat. yeah good venue but um we've kind of been a bit lucky as well we've turned up and no one's even fishing the lake we've got it all to ourselves old man rivers with us today so he's on three of he's us. on peg one one we're on two and three which is a double which is a double we were debating it's 10 11, 10, 11 which um, is the other side opposite that's literally opposite um slightly deeper water i think over there i think it's only like an extra foot deeper to be honest so not the, much in it. The reason that we end up going with this and this these two swims is because there was two people in this swim this week and they've had some fish out and there was a fish out of one yesterday. So we didn't see any signs or any fish when we when we were over that side. Yeah, moving about and stuff. So we just thought, you know, let's go where they've been they've been captured. So we're hoping that they'll be in the area. Yeah, the fingers crossed. I mean. I've, uh, I've been looking forward to this one for a while, to be honest with you. I think mainly because I've just got my new solar pouch thing and I just want to use it, be all nice and organised and that. Yeah, I, I feel you. <laughs> you feel that? You I can appreciate you. that, can't you? I mean, I've got new reels, mate. I so know. We want to, we want to, we want to feel, feel a fish on them if we can. Mm, did have a little go on it. Yeah, it feels, feels nice, doesn't nice it? Nice and smooth, yeah. Rig-wise. Yeah, rig-wise. Just wise. done a bit of filming so we can overlay them over the top, so got three rods each we're on a double peg so we will we'll probably do a little bit of sharing as we do like it. to do and it's winter as well so like bites might be hard to come by so if we do manage to get into some in one spot it's rocking off then at least we can share the love but rig wise i have gone for on my right hand rod uh, which we've been putting out with this new baiting spoon that we've um been given a try out which is it's pretty impressive to be fair it's, it's better than that last one we reviewed it is much better and um we're gonna have a review out for that as well so watch out for that but uh on my right hand rod i've got an iqd rig uh with a yellow wafter i was gonna go with maggots but then i read there's quite a lot of perch in here so i thought he, i'm getting bothered by perch so i didn't so it's just a just a wafter on there on my middle rod i've got a just a lead clip set up with um it's a nash ready tied what is it blowback blowback rig yeah um and i think i've just gone with a fruit and nut wafter on that because i've got, got a bit of fruit and nut free offerings around it just some pellet uh and then on my left hand rod i've got a solid bag with good old solid bag it's been a while since you've done one of them it is and the reason i went with a solid bag is because i um i wanted to put crumbed up boilies in, boil, boil in it uh, yeah, so on my left, I'll be honest, I can't even remember which is which and what is what. Um, all I know is I've got the trusty Mega Method feeder. I know there's a few of you subs out there that don't really like specimen fishermen using Mega Methods, but it's been tried and tested and proven to work really, really well for me over the past couple of years. So I'm never not going to use it on a session. So I've got one rod with that. Um, I've got another rod just with uh, an inline lead um six inch hook link, link link with just a basic hair the other one is a leg clip system lead clip system get your um, words out know, man. with i think size six <laughs> blowback rig as well i think foxy's got one on his same one so yeah i'm going with a mixture of i've got 
double fake corn on one oh. of them and the other two are ones just you know we, we, we use the parker baits um one's the fishy and one's the fruit and nut so see how we get, get on with those talking about parker baits they've recently just released their own pellet range we've got some of that haven't we we have got some of that so um yeah. it comes in like three kilogram tubs boxes which is quite nice so i haven't brought them boxes but i put them into little boxes but um yeah just if uh, if you want 10 percent off your first order at parker baits go to their website and use our code which is fresh fishing and that'll yeah. get you 10 percent off but yeah it's uh, we've been wanting the pellet for a while because we? we use it quite a lot with methods and solid bags and that so it's mint that they've brought that out because um, we can use that and it's flavored the same as your hook baits as well so you've got the fruit and nut and you've got the the og fish yeah which is a nice little touch yeah definitely definitely so let's see how we get on with that what is the time now so 20 past 11 um good timing really rods are out we're going to get the kettle on and uh hopefully we'll have a fish out one more thing if you're watching and you don't subscribe hit that subscribe button just do it just do, do it. it just do it and uh yeah hopefully we'll come back to you with some fish but as you say let's get the kettle on let's, let's get, get let's on. get bros on lad let's get the peg looking coffee with some tea bags. we'll have a beer session for you later we'll also have a pimp my bivy for you later oh you got to pimp my bag Ugh. right here we go this is omr's swim so he's in swim one organized as anything as always look at that just just to stop the rain he's got a new bed which wayne's just checking out there's his fat ass The, um, just come round for a brew. We're literally just just there with the, the receivers. Same, so. Yeah, it's memory foam and it's uh, four seasons sleeping bag. Oh, you better be enough here now. Please, sir, can I have some more, sir? Do you think there'll be enough? I don't think there's going to be enough. There's yeah. loads. What about you? I've got mine. Got oh, you've done yours? Yeah. That's nice right. Bloody hell, that's two more. That's a good cup of tea. Now you've got to check the tea bag out. No, Martin, that is a perfect cup of tea. So uh, just before, I forgot to mention it, um, I had a cup of tea at Dad's and then we come back over here, but before we actually went over to, to Dad's, I'd seen a show um, where there's kind of like some overhanging branches and I said to Wayne, when uh, we'll leave the rod, the middle rod half hour and obviously if nothing happens by that point, we'll pop it over it. So wrapped it, I basically cast out to it, got it to the spot where I'd clipped it, wrapped it up, it's 11 and a bit wraps, 10 foot wraps, and uh, yeah, pinged it out and got it on the spot, so hoping that one can produce because we've, we've seen a sign of a fish there, so fingers crossed, nothing as of yet, it's just hoying it down so we're, we're sat in our bivvies on our own at the minute, waiting for a bite. all quiet on the western front luckily for us the weather has calmed down a little bit it's nice now looks looks pretty nice doesn't it yeah i've had a single beep on this rod this one here and other than that nothing wayne's had a, a recast yeah i've recast my solid bag nothing doing for the minute omr's not caught anything so he said he's had a couple of beeps didn't he yeah so we thought it's a perfect opportunity 
Let's do a bit of Pimp My Vivian. Yeah. Let's talk about what we've got new. So let's well, roll. I have got a couple of bits, so. You have. So let's roll the uh, roll the intro. Let's do it. So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out. Bivy. You got to pimp my Bivy. Go Waz first because my list is as long as my arm. Obviously, Foxy's stupid and spends ridiculous amounts of money. I feel like, well, I've, I've just got a couple of Christmas gifts. The wife's done me a squeeze. Um, sort I of should me mention a... one of mine is a Christmas gift, by the way. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, she's done me a squeeze and she got me a couple of bits that I, I did ask for, to be fair, but yeah, she, she came through. And what I love about one of them is not only is it, you know, part of your tackle. But you can also use it for comfort in your bivy as well. Oh, you know, come and have a look. Bearing in mind, we've still got the same from you know the France situation where my bed is too big for my bivy. Yeah. Um, but it does still work slightly. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> come on in. Can I even get in? No, you can just stay there. Right. So what I've actually got is the first thing she got me. Because um, obviously, I spend. Is it obvious? No. <laughs> I spend a lot of time on my phone. You know, whether it be for personal stuff or sometimes even filming. Watching porn. Watching porn. Um, and yeah, watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's guy going that. So battery gets drained all the time. So I said to the missus, oh, I could, And he could... always loses power banks. He's borrowing mine this weekend. Yeah. So I said to the missus. I could do with a nice little iPad. It's not an so, iPad. Yeah, you keep correcting me. What Turn it around. An Amazon. Amazon Fire. Amazon Fire. It does the same thing though, because it does. That, that's what I usually take in the bank. I stick all the same apps on this as what I've got on my phone, it like is ne good. Netflix, Sky Go. Yeah. yeah. All, that sort, all that sort Spot of stuff. On. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to be watching a little bit of TV on, on an evening. Even better though. Look at this bad boy. Well, you've already mentioned this in the vlog, haven't you? Have I? Yeah, you said it at the start. Oh yeah, at the start. Obviously you've seen this already, but look at that. That's good, isn't it? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is good, yeah. That's just good, yeah. So, not only is it part of your tackle, it's part of your comfort in your bivvy as well. It's good. Nice. So, and obviously, as as we, we mentioned at the start of the vlog, he's organised himself everything is nice and tidy inside that bad boy Can we have one more look if you really want just quick because i'm super proud of myself yeah wallet oh wallet oh very nice so very nice. i mean <clears throat> there are going to be some serious upgrades from me this year so yeah. you'll probably see me featuring in pimp my bivy a bit more than you did he is literally last year. pimping his bivy yeah so new so. bivy is on the way um, when Nash released the one I want, yeah. um, which will be in a few months. So I'll have a bit more space and yeah, we'll get real cozy in here. Nice. But enough of me, what about you? Well, before we go on to me, should we say the one that we've got together? Baiting pole. Let's do it. So behind the bivy, we, we put it in the bag for, for the time being. We've got this lovely, it's all in its bag, lovely little baiting pole. Drawstring up at the minute. But we do, we've done alright with this, didn't we? Yeah. Look at that bad boy. Is. Love it. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Good bit of kit, that. Yeah, so that's a nice little bit of kit. And uh, where can we get it? Habeck Tech Tackle. Bit of mouthful, but. Yeah. Nice little baiting spoon that we got together. So, what about you? Well, bed chair. He's gone in. He's gone in, the boy. What is it? It is the Nash Indulgence All Season Four Fold. So we will do a review on it at some point. We need to do a review on Wayne's bed. We'll do a review on mine, but I'm going to spend a few nights in his. We'll probably do his maybe when we're at Wellham. Mm weather if the weather's decent but yeah it's got memory foam same as wayne's 
um, just a different folding mechanism but looks nice I'm looking forward to spending my first night on it I bet you are um, it's luxury I'm telling you bivy light this is this was the Christmas present wasn't this it? is the Christmas present from the missus so that's just the Ridge Monkey IR Pro I think it is bivy light looks good looks looks a bit brighter than the one I was using I was using like a chub one which cost me 12 quid lasted me ages but then obviously missus upgraded me on that one so I can't complain well sling sling god he's not stop this boy now I've got this cart tricks is the is the brand and I got this because normally when you take my sling it's like a meter and a bit long or whatever it's massive and I thought it'd be quite good if you had like a bit more of a compact one so that's exactly what this is so it rolls up and it kind of folds out like that ah oh, so it's a bit like um it's a bit like the um cradle that i've got yeah in terms of the fact that it has the bends in it and that and that, that obviously it's just a normal one it's got floating things on and everything like zips up to velcro it's a good it's a good little bit of kit how much did you pay for that? 30 quid I think it was. Okay. It's pretty good really, isn't it? 30 quid. Um, and yeah, I just like how it folds in half and you can just put it in that little bag and it's not like massive. So finally, <laughs> I got my new lovely the grand, reels. The grand piece. My new lovely reels, yeah. So I've got the ESP Onyx Big Pit Compact reels. And they are a thing of beauty. They're sexy. They are. They do not have bait runners on. So I'm quite excited to try and land a fish without bait runners. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Man. Pro, um, ain't you? You're a pro. Yeah, and they've got <laughs> super slow oscillation. Is it oscillation? I think oh, it is. Which basically means that the reel goes up and down really slow when you wind it in. So you get a really nice line lay on, on the spool. And, uh, and yeah, it's supposed to help banging. you cast. Better, Apparently, yeah, when you cast in, it means that line comes off the spool better as well. Yet, um, so, yeah. Cast good soon. What? <laughs> what are you saying? So, anyway. That's it. That's that's my lot. Mate, you've gone in. But them reels, them reels are decent. I think once I've used them a little bit, we'll do a review on them. Oh, for sure. Oh, show. Use them for a few months, catch a few fish on them, and then we'll do a review because there isn't many online actually on YouTube when I was looking, so it'd be probably probably be good to do. And uh, I'm not going to mention the price. No, you need to. Nah. You have to. Nah, I can't. You just in to. case Danny watches. <gasps> you can't do that. Uh, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, you can look online yourself. Go and have a look <laughs> for the ESP <laughs> Onyx Compact and see how much they are. Right. They're expensive, <laughs> <laughs> but my, my my thinking is we do this all the time. We go on a lot of sessions. We go to France. Why not have some good reels? For sure, mate. There's nothing wrong with my Black Widows, by the way. I've still I've got them. I've kept them. I'll keep them for my sons when they grow up. They can use them as little bait runners. Oh, They'll be right. bang on, cute. No. no, well done. You've gone in as always. I probably won't have much on the next one. Although it's my birthday on the next one, so I probably, <laughs> probably you will. will. You will. <laughs> uh, right so. well that was pimp my bivy that's it hopefully we'll bring you some carp soon if not bots will be next or yeah. dinner don't yeah, know which one we're up for a beer aren't we yeah Let's, should we just do it now maybe <laughs> it was a bots mate bots cheers Welcome to another beer of the session. It's a bot. It's a bot, mate. It's a bot, mate. A um, we are obviously at Raker. We are blanking we our tits are off. Blanking. So it is definitely time for a beer. Beer o'clock, in it. In it. In it, blood. In it, fam. So what we got? What's on so the menu? So this one was suggested by Rob Keeling. Cheers, Rob. Rob Thanks Keeling for the much, suggestion. Rob. And he has suggested Keo. Do you know what? To be fair, Keo. I have had Keo. this before. It was a while. It was a while back, but I do remember liking it. And obviously, those that know the channel well and watch the channel, you know, from when we first started, know that I was never a big beer drinker when we first started doing this. Um, so having 
drank this even before then tells you that it's probably something that I liked. Could well be. So it's uh, from Cyprus, proudly brewed on the island of Cyprus. And do you know what? I think it probably is because if you try and read the back, I think you're going to struggle. Is it Cypriot? Yeah. <clears throat> Yep. So I genuinely think this might be imported. Great. You know, like normally you get like Moretti and stuff like that and yeah. it's like, it's Italian, but actually it's just brewed in the UK. Uh -huh. I think this is genuinely brewed over in Cyprus. 100%. And it is, did you say 4.5%? I think I saw that 4.5%. Yeah, 4.5%. Yeah. 630 mil bottles. Well, it, it says it on the fr on the front, proudly brewed on the island of Cyprus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what I said before. Yeah. All right. All right. Sorry. You see Shut up, Swan. No. Stab, right. looking at me, Swan. Right, let's give it a little... They're big bottles, aren't they? Smell have, test. We, have we said how much they were? I think it's... What, price-wise? Yeah. It was any four for the price of three. Ah, uh, so we a little deal with Morrison's. Yeah, I can't remember, actually, how much I paid because it came with everything else, dinner and all that, so... It's probably it. just about a tenner. Oh, it smells nice, sweet. Sweet. Mm. Cheers, mate. Salute. Cheers. Cheers. Wayne. Cheers. Let's give it a pop. Very, very nice. Mm. I like it. it just takes you like for me it does. It takes me back to Cyprus. It takes you it takes you to being on holiday. It's <coughs> extremely smooth, isn't it? Very um, smooth. And you know, easy, like easy to drink. You know, like when you're on holiday, you just bit it's beer o'clock at like 10 a.m. or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter what time it is. Bosh. Do they do this on? Do they do this draft as well? Must do. Up there, they will do in Cyprus. Yeah. I actually remember from going to Cyprus. There's this, and there's actually Carlsberg is one of the ones that they do everywhere in Cyprus. Wait, this is really. It's nice. got some English on the back. Look, Kiel is a lager beer of an exceptional quality, traditionally brewed and matured to retain its flavour, aroma and freshness. Mm. So there's a bit of English in there with oh, all yeah. the italics. Oh, so that it's is like nice it's though. from the Greek Cypriot side, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Proud supporter of the Cy Cyprus national football team. Do you know what? I'd... All Cyprus, aren't we? <laughs> all Cyprus, aren't we? Yeah. <clears throat> I just like the smoothness of it. Yeah, it is. When it goes down, it's... it doesn't leave any, any aftertaste or that? anything. Yeah, what, yeah, what are you thinking, numbers? Mm. I'm gonna go eight. I'm thinking eight. Again, if I was doing halves, I would go eight and a half. Would you? Yeah. But We're we not don't doing do halves. halves. We don't do halves. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go so eight. It's a, it's a, it's a good eight. It's a solid, solid upper eight. Okay. Dad. Nine. Nine. Yep. Oh, he's pulling out a nine. It's really nice. Cheers to that, mine. <clears throat> I can appreciate that. And especially. That. You know, win middle of winter, set out in not in the cold anyway, but no, um, it's good. It is good, good stuff. Warms the cockles a little bit as well, doesn't it? Mm. 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 So very nice. That was a box. I was, I was Cheers, disappointed. Rob. I was disappointed at first with the size of the bottle. I thought, wow, look at the size of that. <laughs> if we don't like it, <laughs> yeah, a lot's no get problems. There, there is a spare one, Dad, because it was. Four for the price there of three. Go, so. Exactly. But yeah, thanks for the um, thanks us for the <laughs> suggestion, Rob. Obviously, if everyone's got any more suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. And <clears throat> hopefully, by the time this is oh the website, by the time this is this video is live, the website should be live. I'm hoping, mm. and we've actually got a page on there, a box, the box page, page. Yeah. which has got all the scores that we've given on all the beers that we've done. Scores on the door. So eh? this will be going on there, and it just allows you guys to actually see what we've done, and so you don't, you don't basically suggest one that's been done before, so. Yeah, you can go on there, obviously see the scores, and um, get in touch with us if, and, and let us know. And also, you know, if you're thinking, oh, what beer should I have tonight? I fancy something for exactly. about a little change. What's a nice beer? You can go on there. Oh, let's go see what the Fresh Fishing lads rated certain beers. Yeah, exactly. So, you can look at the higher scoring ones. Acai, it's 10. It's yeah. a 10! Um, but yeah, there is that page. So if you. The link will be in the description www.freshfishing.co.uk. Head over to the bots page. And 
why not jump on a raffle as well? Should you do an average right score there. between how many how many people are boxing on the on the day? Or oh no, I've, I've basically just put us three. <clears throat> I've not put any other lads. So yeah, cheers, boys. Cheers, Keo. Was it eight from me? Eight from Foxy. Nine, nine from Martin. Are you I'm farting? Not. No. That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking sorry right yeah <laughs> that was a bots cheers cheers swim. I think he's resetting his rods. Let's see what he's doing. Just reset two of them. You're doing the third one now? Yeah. This one's on the method feeder. On the island? To the island, yeah. I've put a pop-up on the left-hand rod. Right. A white pop-up. I thought I'd try that. Good cast. Yeah, not bad. What we reckon? You reckon you're gonna get out in the night, Dad? I don't know. Can only try. Set for the night, eh? Yeah. Fingers crossed. Ready to rock and roll. We're just re-recording this because as Dad walked round, what were you saying? The rain that was due at five o'clock has shifted to six o'clock and it's 90% certain now, so. Right. Fox let, weather. So it's, get your scran on, get, let's get scran on while uh, while we still can be, we while it's dry, talk, eh? Yeah, we were just talking about scran, I was saying like. I was only saying it because of uh, cooking when, the scran. When should we put it on? All right, weatherman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, we're getting dinner on. Because oh, on we the menu, are completely losing light. Yeah. On the menu tonight, Prince's chicken katsu curry. Oh, love a katsu. It's nice and hot. Dinner time. Foxy's chicken katsu curry. I mean, I wouldn't say it's Foxy's. It's Prince's. Mmm. <laughs> but looks good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Tastes good. Can't complain, mate. Mate, these um, tin curries are actually okay. Yeah. Quite nice. Let's get tucked in. That's not good flavour to it, isn't it? Mm. It's not the first time we've had them. <clears throat> so, obviously not this specific one, but... Yeah, they're all right, they're good, aren't they? Yeah. See you later. See you later, Mark. See you later Dad. <laughs> Give us a shout if you get into anything. Yeah. It is early. Yeah, but I super think. early, but absolutely shattered. I think it's time to. This man's uh, shattered now, and he's about to have a baby in a few months. He's going to be double shattered. Listen, I've had four hours sleep. All right. Pussy. Now we're getting in the bivvies until a fish comes and wakes us <coughs> up. To be fair, I would have stayed up if it wasn't stayed out if it wasn't raining. Yeah, the rain started so. 6 p.m. in the bivvies. Weatherman did say, Weatherman Fox, yep. did say it was going to rain at 6 and he's got it spot on to be fair. Fox, like. Fox weather. Fox weather. Right, I'll see you in about an hour. When I'm catching a 20 pounder? I mean, yeah, or. That'd be nice. When I catch a 20 pounder, either or. No, let me have it. You but had loads of 20s last year. <laughs> Right, peace, Bye. adios. We've been at the bivvies now a while. It's actually, um, I can't even see, man. It's so bright. It's actually like 10 past 10. <sighs> this bed is so comfy. 
literally got into it. I'd like a brew, a little bit to munch on. Started watching the football. Newcastle versus uh, Sheffield Wednesday, and actually fell asleep at the end of the footy. Woke up, turned it off, fell back asleep, and it's now like ten past ten. And uh, yeah, given that I haven't been woken up, obviously no bites. So <sighs> probably in for a quiet night, unfortunately. It's annoying because literally like obviously I know it's winter but conditions are really good it's really low pressure it's been a bit of rain to oxygenate the water and probably warm the water up a little bit temperature it's, it's pretty mild <sighs> but what can you do morning campers it's half seven in the morning. No bites. No bites for anyone. Just been over and seen Omar and he's had an out. Wayne's still kipping, as per. And, um, yeah, nothing doing. I think Wayne had a little knock in the night <clears throat> on one of his rods because it woke me up. But it must have just been like a couple of beeps. And that's it, unfortunately. And uh, I've had a text through the night from my missus saying she's not very well and been sick, so I am going to have to get out of it ASAP. So I've already started packing away inside the Bivy as soon as it's light. Bivy's going to go down and I'm going to be getting myself away, which means OMR's going to have to as well because I'm in the car with him. So going to have to pack up pretty sharpish and, and get away. So there's still a little bit of time for a morning bite, but it's looking bleak. That first fish, that first carp of 2023 is currently eluding us. Hello. Hi. Packing up early, are we? Yeah. Well, I've already said why. How have you? Yeah. Did a little morning message. And then I told Wayne and he was like, Foxy, I'm with you. I'm with you. That's what I said, didn't I? Yeah. Foxy, I'm with you. Yeah, I just thought, well, I might as well pack up and leave as well. I don't feel confident for a bite. Uh, so that's the reason for me. But we're going to leave the rods in till last. But as you can see, bivvies are down. And uh, we're going to... Cars are just there. So one of us will stay in the swim whilst the other one goes round. And we're going to start packing down. Yeah. Listen, the place looks like it's got so much potential, doesn't it? It's like, it, it just looks like a, such a carpy lake, as we said. Yeah. I have no doubt that in the future... I'll get with you. I have no doubt that in the future when we come back, when, you know, it's not as hard to get a bite, mm. then we probably would have it away here or, you know, have a decent session. It's just annoying, isn't it? We wanted that first one of oh, 2023. It's that first session of 2023 and we wanted to just, yeah... But, as you said... on the bank. It's hard this time of year, isn't it? Is it is really hard this time of year. So, we're doing one session a month, that's all we can do. That's kind of what um, family life permits, kind of thing. So, uh, mm. we've got one chance every month, and unfortunately, on this one, it's slipped by us, hasn't it? It has, it has. Yeah. Listen, not one for trying, though. No, no, no we've definitely tried. Um, I think I come to this session as organised as I've probably ever been before in my life, especially in terms of like trying different rig setups yeah different baits on all of them um listen what will be will be don't work did sometimes it? you catch sometimes you don't so what we'll do is we'll end the video now <clears throat> but obviously if we do get a bite it'll be after this bit yeah so as usual if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't subscribe already please subscribe hit the alarm bell to get notifications otherwise you're going to miss all the content we put out you will you will great content and we've got a few good reviews coming out and then obviously old man river's going to have a sesh coming out soon um one of his retirement sessions mm -hmm. and then also we've got wellham so stay tuned can't wait for wellham now it's gonna be good cheers guys <laughs>